boxing fans this is Aztec 101 in the ring and um, I had to do my video one more time mainly because <laughs> I didn't realize how groggy I sounded uh, this is a response to coach and coach my original video was terrible it's fucking garbage I had to I have to redo it um, your response video on the other hand was fucking perfect there was just a lot of things that I agreed with and I hopefully I can cover everything in this video but um, let me start off by saying this I kind of understand where town what town was going through in his head somewhat I was in a similar situation it's not exactly the same see I know that town was when he bought the TMT gear he didn't I'm sure he didn't buy it just because he thought they looked good um, or he needed a new hat I'm sure he bought the clothes because he wanted to support his favorite fighter, right? Um, I, I I had some Trump ties, and I didn't buy the ties because I supported Trump. I, I bought the ties because I needed them. And when all that shit was going down uh, about a year ago, him coming out and starting his campaign, um, I thought the same thing that you said in your video crossed through my mind. What the fuck is someone like me doing with Trump ties? So I considered throwing them away. Um, I'm glad I didn't, because after further review, I realized, well, the reason why I bought the, the ties was because I needed them to get through an interview. And instead of being wasteful and throwing them away, because throwing them away won't do anything. I mean, I already paid for them. So if I did throw them away, it, it wouldn't be helping the situation. I wouldn't be hurting Trump or his organization. I would just be throwing away clothes that could help someone else. And um, so I gave them away. Hopefully it helps someone, you know, I don't know, get through prom, get through, get through a job interview, something. I don't know. Maybe someone uses it to hang themselves. I don't fucking know, but it'll be, it'll do a lot better, you know, um, someone else's closet than in the trash. But, and, and, and that's kind of the message I kind of wanted to get across. Because, you know, you, I noticed that there's a lot of anger. And I've seen in the comments that, you know, people don't really think that I can comprehend where the anger's coming from or why it's there. You know, trust me, I, I understand it. And there's, there's, there's opinions I have about it. Um, I know what it's like to be pulled out of school in fifth grade and being told that your uncle's in the hospital because he was beaten, you know, half to death by police uh, without breaking any laws. And there was, you know, so at a young age, you know, I, I, I've always been having... A, a conflicting relationship with the police, you know, and, and I know for a fact that I don't need to have a black son in order for me to know that my son's going to have trouble with the police. So I, I, empathizing and understanding Black Lives Matter and the anger and where it comes from, trust me, I understand it. I understand the anger. It was mostly the point that I'm trying to make is how do you guys going to use that anger without self-destruct, you know, without destroying your own cause? Because, you know, it's not. There's a lot of petty shit that's that's being brought up that has nothing to do with the movement. You know, everyone's jumping down uh, Floyd Mayweather's throat for saying all lives matter. But coach, you know, you, you, you brought up a good point in your video. You said that Latinos and Hispanics, even though it's not in the news, we also get uh, harassed by police. And we're also victims of, you know, police brutality, which is true. And it's not shown in the news. And you're right. Um, but I'm going to be honest. I, I don't think Black Lives Matter has is opening up. Um, for people like me who's not black to participate 
Um, and whenever there is an opportunity, like someone like Floyd saying, well, you know, to me, in my opinion, all lives matter. When it comes down to, to something so minor like that, it confuses me. I just, I, like, I didn't think something so simple and basic and, and I thought it would be something that's true. Be so controversial. You know what I mean? It, it, it just kind of boggles my mind. You know, I, I, I'm kind of thinking about this. I, I was thinking about this um, last night. You know, if if Michael Jackson was asked, um, you know, a question like this, he probably would say all lives matter. And I'm, I'm wondering, like, what just because based on his personality, right, based on what we know of Michael Jackson, um, you know that he would probably say something like that, like all lives matter to him because he was a generous person to everyone. I'm wondering, like, would you guys crucify him, too, for having that, that open mind, that mentality, and that love for everyone? Or would it be, like, would you guys look at it as he's turning your back against the cause? I don't see Floyd as a type of person that's turning his back. Like, he employs a lot of people, and you see a lot of different colors in his gym, people from different backgrounds, and it's... it's to me, it just seems like a lot of the anger that's coming in, even though I understand it, it's petty and it's self-destructive. And I just wish there was more leadership. And I'm going to go into that in another video, talking about leadership. And, um, you know, I know I see a lot of people, you know, point out that the previous generation failed us, Right which is true, but you really didn't fail us. You just kind of failed yourself. You know, you, you failed yourself, not, not us. Cause, and, and I'll go into that in, in, in the next video. Um, but that does not go towards you coach. Cause if there's anyone that's fighting to make a difference and is setting up a good example. It's, uh, coaches and mentors, people like yourself. So, uh, I just want to say coach, um, good response and I have a lot of respect for you know you as an individual it's Aztec 101 in the ring and I'm out